the record in the matter of Amber Briggs, 23662. Attorney Corey Westmoreland, appearing on behalf of Ms. Briggs. Ms. Briggs, would you please state your name for the record? Yes, good morning, Judge. It's Amber Briggs. All right, good morning. Okay, uh, Ms. Briggs, you're on probation for operating while impaired, and it's alleged that you and you're currently on a, an alcohol tether from your last violation from November 20th, where the court, after your plea of guilty to your probation violation, sentenced you to five days jail, 30 days on the alcohol tether upon release. And so this is alleging on November 30th and December 2nd that you tested positive for alcohol and you had a tamper event on both days. And Counsel? Yes, Your Honor. After speaking with Ms. Briggs, uh, we are prepared to waive any sort of contested hearing on these matters and uh, enter a guilty plea uh, for testing positive uh, with alcohol. Ellie. All right, ma'am, please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear from the testimony about to give this man the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. All right. And ma'am, you heard the plea that your attorney placed on the record, correct? Correct. And <clears throat> as to the allegations, ma'am, how do you plead? Um, I have I'll be guilty. And you understand your rights for probation violation purposes, correct? Uh, correct. And you also understand that by entering into a plea, you'll be waiving some of those rights, specifically your right to a contested hearing. Uh, correct. And you also understand the possible penalty as a result of your plea. Correct. And you understand the recommendation in this matter is for probation to be revoked, the matter closed without improvement. $50 probation violation fee, 60 days jail. Do you understand that? Yes, ma'am. And knowing all that, do you still want to continue with your plea? Yes, ma'am. Has anybody promised you anything, threatened you, or coerced you in any way for you to enter into a plea? No. All right, counsel, you can please run to your client. Sure. Ms. Briggs, are you, are you currently on probation through the Wyandotte District Court? Yes. Are you? As a term and condition of your probation, are you to not test positive for any drugs or alcohol that you're not prescribed? Correct. Did you, in fact, test positive for alcohol on uh, November 30th and December 2nd of this year? As notified from the court, I was, yes. <clears throat> and you understand that that's a direct violation of the terms and conditions of your pro probation, correct? Correct. Okay. Satisfied, Judge. The court is also satisfied the plea is knowing, voluntary, and factually accurate. The court will accept your plea to the probation violations, indicate technical violations four and five. And <clears throat> counsel, as to the recommendation. As to the recommendation, Your Honor, I, I would simply just ask uh, that this honorable court give Ms. Briggs one last opportunity. Uh, I would like you to know and take into consideration the fact that uh, she is a hairstylist and she's dealing with products that all contain alcohol all day, every day. Uh, she's coming into contact with those. I, I would actually recommend or suggest that uh, instead of an alcohol tether, that uh, she be given the opportunity to uh, use a sober link device. I think that would give a more accurate, uh, a more accurate test. Um, she did speak with the, uh, the tether people at EMS, they did say that uh, if she was using specific lotions or laundry detergent or any uh, face wash that does contain alcohol, again, at her work using hairsprays and other, uh, other things that contain alcohol in them, it could be giving a, a false positive. Uh, she indicated to me that she is absolutely not drinking at this point. Uh, she, she's not trying to des deceive the court in any way. Uh, she has taken responsibility for it because, yes, at the end of the day, she did 
have a positive test, but it's not due to anything that she ingested or put into her into her body purposely. Uh, taking that all into account, Judge, I, I'd simply just be asking for leniency and one one more opportunity uh, to complete the terms and conditions of her probation. Ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Do you work for yourself or do you work for a company? I work for a company and I work for myself. Well, I take clients at work and after work or on my off days, I take clients as well. For financial okay. purposes. And, and so on November 30th, Were you working? Yes, ma'am, I was. Um, after I got out of jail on the 24th, I believe, it released me without um, any information on the tethering. So I went ahead and called Natalie on my release date, left a voicemail before she wasn't in the office because of the holidays. So um, I was notified to go to the office, the tethering office on the 28th. So I received my tether on the 28th. Um, ever since then, honestly, I have just been working and trying to handle business. I would not have put myself in this position at all, um, knowingly because my kids, my son will actually be here today at four. I, I'm the only person that will be able to pick him up from the airport and my two daughters will be here on the 18th. I'll be spending my Christmas and my, uh, my New Year's with my kids in Michigan here. So I would have never done anything knowingly to jeopardize that situation. Um, I'm uh, not sure what product exactly it is that is causing a positive alcohol, but alcohol is not that serious for me to jeopardize the time that I could spend with my kids for one. And for two, I'm actually hoping to... Uh, to get my medicine, go ahead and get my medicine settled. For the last three months, my doctor's been changing my medicine. But once my medicine is settled with my Graves disease, I'm hoping to lean myself off of weed as well. But as far as me having high anxiety that where it's crippling, that's where I'm using the marijuana. But to be honest, at this point, how I'm looking at life, I don't need marijuana nor um, alcohol. So I'm taking this very seriously. I'm not trying to, like my lawyer said, I'm not trying to deceive or be coy or combative. I just, I'm not sure what it caused the, um, positive alcohol. And as far as the tampering with the tether, I went to EMS as my lawyer stated. And I actually also went up to Natalie's office to ask her if it's possible for her to notify me when I get a positive so I can go and drop to verify with my urine that I'm not drinking as well. Um, but she said that would be too hard to do. Uh, I've asked for a lie detector test from my, my um, lawyer. He said that you want to do it, but to be honest, I'm coming to you as humble as possible to let you know that I really am not drinking or intaking anything. I've changed my body wash. I've changed my mouthwash. I'm now doing oil pulling. So I'm very vigilant on what I'm consuming. I know for a fact that I haven't consumed any alcohol. So again, I'm just not sure why it's reading positive. And Judge, additionally, looking at her track record as far as... Uh what she's completed uh, for probation. She's already completed the Mad Victims Impact Panel. She's been doing uh, outpatient counseling. She's completed her 50 hours of community service, and she's cleared up all, all of her outstanding warrants. She's taken probation very, very serious. I might have, I'm not sure, but I might have um, my warrant for my child support case, but I haven't had the chat, um, the time to actually go up to Ann Arbor. I like to go to these places to handle the business, but I did clear up my two warrants in 36th district. And as well, like I said, on the day that I went to jail, I cleared up a warrant for um, Southgate. <clears throat> only thing I have not done was make a payment for you guys, which because I haven't left my house yet, I can make that payment when I leave because I also have to make a payment to the tether place.
And for the record, my last time dropping was on the 8th. If you like, I can drop today. I'll drop every day. I'm just, again, I'm just not sure why it's reading positive. Okay, ma'am. While you've been on probation, you've had multiple violations. Positive for alcohol and cocaine. Positive for alcohol. Positive for alcohol. And now these two, positive for alcohol. And you want me to believe that this is not from your consumption, but from your uh, products that you're using at work, which at this point, ma'am, you have been given sufficient information as to what products to avoid and not. To be honest, Judge, I went onto the Scram website to look on the website to see what can cause a positive. And I've done research after I received these notifications. Um, on the Scram website, it reads if I it reads that it should be able to avoid the um, environmental alcohols and also like for lotions. I only use it twice now, but um, I mean, tw once every other day. But for lotions, it says do not use on or around the alcohol tether. So I've been just lotioning my higher calves and I've been leaving it at that. Um I really have not consumed any alcohol. Like I said, I would not put in the jeopardy of my son coming into to Michigan today to the airport and I'm not being there. And there's nobody in the state of Michigan for them to call to come and pick them up or anywhere for them to stay. So I would not jeopardize that. And I take this very seriously. I take this court very seriously. Furthermore, I take my life and my reputation very seriously. So... Um, with these violations, it looks like my life is spiral spiraling out of control or I have no self-control or anything of that matter, but that can be farther for the truth. I really am hoping to show, I was actually hoping that this would work out for me to show you that, yes, I can follow your instructions and, um, not drink. It's, it's not, like I said, it's really not that serious for me to take a sip of alcohol to lose everything that I'm working for. I also have a, another interview for the salon that I told you about that I had uh, applied to. I have an interview on the 10th of January. So um, everything in my life is looking positive. I was hoping that this would show that I am making the strides. But again, I'm not sure why it's reading positive. Ma'am. Were you working on November 30th? Yes, ma'am. And on the 2nd. And what time were you working on the 30th? Let me give you the dates. One second. I worked that day Thank from you. 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. And then I'm sorry, from what? From 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Okay. And then I believe I had a hair client as well on client afterwards. Okay. And then what about on December 2nd? Yes, December 2nd, I worked. Go back to my schedule. December 2nd, I worked from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Okay. And then I had two hair clients afterwards. What time were those hair clients? One second, got to go to my consent. So my first client was from 7 to 9.30. And then my last client was the 9.30. I did braids, so that lasted until about 5 a.m. So 5 a.m.? Yeah, it takes a long time to do braids. It takes a long time to do women here, if you really want to be honest. <laughs> and so when you do braids, ma'am, how do you, what's, the, what's that process? When I do braids, I, I shampoo and condition all my clients. I clip their ends, blow dry, 
Um, that's just the setting base for any hairstyle. And then when I do my braids, I have to go ahead and set out the parting. I use gel for parting. Um, the gel I use, I can go and get it and tell you the ingredients if you like. Would you like me to go grab it real quick? No, no, that's okay. Okay, the gel that I, I use gel, do the parting. And then from there, we're adding in the hair. And after you add in the hair, you pretty much set it using mousse and um, spritz or gots to be. And you use hot water and you dip the ends of the hair and it pretty much seals what you braid it down. Okay, and what's, uh, what's in the spritz? The spritz, one second. It has aqua, aspartame, propane, alcohol, zelly, maize, starch, pro quality. I'm so sorry. I don't know how to say that. Pro quality. Okay. So uh, for the, spr the spritz that you use, is that store yep, bought or do you make it yourself? Nope, store bought. All these products are store bought, man. Okay. And so, do you use gloves when you do hair? Um, sometimes, yes. Like for like uh, when I'm doing bleaching, um, when I'm doing hair color, hair dyes. Yes, but usually, like if you're checking your clients in between that process, no, I'm not using gloves. If I'm doing a style you can't really use the gloves because you need your hands to smooth it. So no. And to be honest, I'm not that well equipped to know how to use the gloves while doing styling. If I need to, I will, I'll start learning how, but, um, in my previous, in my previous prior to this court case, no, I was not using gloves. Okay. <clears throat> and how long have you been doing here, ma'am? I've been licensed for about six years now. Okay. And you previously have been on the alcohol tether while you've been on probation, correct? I'm sorry. What do you mean previously? Like this is my first time. This is your first time on the tether? Yes, ma'am. Ellie, please be quiet, Mama. Okay. Good girl. Good job. And <clears throat> it's okay, Mama. It's okay. Good job. Ma'am, your levels on your December 2nd event began at 2.30 in the afternoon and it went all the way until 2.14 a.m. with the highest being a 0.24. And I can, I can tell you why from 2 a.m. because after, I'm sorry for cutting you off, after two, um, after I got off of work, I just received my new washer on the first. It was delivered. And on the second, I spent all that time washing the clothes that I had in my house from not having a washer. So I did about 10 loads. I have a portable washing machine. I can show you that as well. One second. No, no, ma'am. That, no, ma'am. That's, that's okay. Um, what so what, what does that washing machine have to do with your testing positive so all the way to 14 a.m.? Because it's a lot of hand washing. I'm actually in the process of washing now. So it's a lot of hands on. You see, I have to put my hands in here and things of that nature. So that's probably the reason as to why I read until 2 a.m. Because, again, I've been washing clothes, trying to get my house together for my kids. But I'm not drinking, haven't been drinking, and I'm not even, I don't even have the urge to drink. Well, ma'am, I thought you were working until 5 a.m. on the 2nd. No, I said from 9 to 5 p.m. 
And then he said you had two clients at night from 7, 7 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. and 9.30 p.m. to 5 a.m. Yeah, correct. And in between me doing that, I was washing clothes as well. And <clears throat> the time on November 30th from 10 a.m. until 7 p.m. is when you were working. And your levels increased starting at 719 and didn't return to baseline until almost 11 p.m. that night. And you didn't have any clients that evening. No, I was just washing clothes. That would be the second because I got my washing machine delivered on the first. Okay, well, I'm talking about November 30th, ma'am. So I have to tell you, ma'am, you're trying really hard, but given um, what I've learned regarding the um, the products, <clears throat> the this is not, believe it or not, it's not the first time that somebody has tried using this reason for testing positive. Um, and given the, given the levels that you've had, does not support, is not supported by the use of the products. Not only that, you have been informed on a number of occasions. I'm not drinking. What, I haven't been drinking. What products, what products you're not allowed to use, ma'am? I understand. So either you, either I'm not you wear trying gloves to or I'm not you don't trying use the products. To so if I have to, I will quit my job. I have no problem doing so. I'm not trying to lie to you in any shape, form, or fashion. I'm really frustrated because, again, I really have not drunk any alcohol in any form. Like I said, I've changed my body wash. I changed my mouth wash. The only thing I cannot physically afford right now is to change my lotion. That's only because I just bought it. I'm, I'm not trying to lie to you. I understand that you've heard this before. If I have to drop every day to prove my point, I will, but I literally have not been I haven't been and I have no problem taking accountability. Just like when I went to jail that day, I took about accountability for my actions. Um, but at this point, I'm literally at your mercy because I really don't know what is causing these positive alcohol readings when I have literally not been doing anything but busting my tail, cleaning up my house, trying to make sure that I have enough money to get my kids jackets and coats and, and boots because they're coming from Florida. I'm, I'm, I don't know what to do. Um, if I have to do a sober link and the tether to also prove to you that I'm not drinking, I'll do that. I'm really begging here. I really don't know. Yeah, at the end of the day, you know what products you're permitted to use and not permitted to use. I, you've made, I, you've even indicated how you've made the change on your self care products. Yes. So why are you not why are you not taking steps on your work products to make sure that you're not testing positive for alcohol? Since that's well, what you're I, well, I did not know the severity of how they can test positive from the products that I'm using at work until again I got the notification that I was testing positive for alcohol. From that point on, I've done a lot more research, but also just like my laundry, my dish detergent, it has alcohol in it. So I'm not sure why it's reading like this. I assumed as long as it is not on my tether or, or uh, around the tether that it wouldn't have read, but unfortunately we're here. Um, again, I'm not sure what to do from this point, I am trying my hardest. I understand that you gave me chances. I'm not, I'm not looking to, um, you know, pretty much disregard the chances that you have given me in the past, but I'm taking this very seriously. I don't, I really don't know what else to do from this point. I would love a sober link and the tether, or like I said, if I have to drop every day to prove that I'm not drinking, um, but to just start over with my products at work, it will be for one very time consuming and costly. And, um, not that it will be an issue for me to do so. It'll just take me more time to gather or replace the products that I'm using. 
Or like I said, oh, I yeah. can uh, I'll I'll yeah, put the, the scram the scram, <clears throat> the scram is not free, the daily testing is not free. So the, the, all those are costs. Yes, and I gotta tell you, <clears throat> I gotta tell you, a point two four, a point two four. I'm not drinking, ma'am. I'm not. I have literally Scott Signer on my kids, so I am not drinking. I would not put my myself in this position for me to worry if my son will be able to be picked up from the airport today at five. I wouldn't have that. Oh, yeah, individuals that have alcohol issues and other substance use issues, you know, as try as they might, sometimes that's not much of a deterrent. And I understand that, but I'm not, I don't have alcohol issues. I socially drink. And how I ended up with this uh, case in this matter, it was a social matter. Um, I realized the seriousness of this case. Uh, I realized how serious it is for you to drink and drive. It was never my intent um, to even be in this position at all. But maybe this is helping me for something in the future or, you know, stopping something in the future that could happen. But again, I take this very seriously. I'm not I'm not drinking at all. Here's what the court's going to do. The court is going to <clears throat> adopt the recommendation. The court's going to revoke probation, order that it was not completed successfully. The court's going to order 60 days jail. The court's going to suspend that jail. I'm doing a jail review on Wednesday, December 20th. In the meantime, you need to be set up with a scram and you're going to do daily testing, ma'am. Yes, I mean, not a scram, a sober -like. Um, do you want me to do the tether and a, and a scram and a daily testing? I would do absolutely, no absolutely, no problem. And counsel, I I know that you're not on the docket on Wednesday, but I feel like maybe eleven a.m. is when you were available. Uh, when was this? January tenth. Dece December twentieth. Oh, December 20th. I feel like um, you... I, I, yeah, 11. <laughs> okay. You said December... Yeah, let, me be very, let me be very clear. Let me be very clear, ma'am. If on December 20th, mm -hmm. I show any readings on any of the devices, the sober link, your tether, you will be going to jail that day. So if you, I'm just giving you warning that if you see that there's any alcohol detected, make arrangements for your children. I have a question really quickly. What happens with the products on the back bar? Like for instance, uh, everybody that walks into the salon, we use the same shampoos and the same conditioners all around. You have to use it because- You use wear gloves, wear gloves. Okay, no problem. Because there is zero way that your products are causing a 0.24, zero. I just want you to know that I, I do not believe that you did not consume alcohol at all on the event of December 2nd. I, I didn't, but I understand and I appreciate your um I appreciate your generosity, but I really am not, so I won't have an issue with that. If I if it if it comes back on this on this scram link that is a positive and I haven't been doing anything and it shows in my urine and also on the blow test, would you take those as well? Because I honestly have to use the lotion. I have to. That's just because of my Grace disease. I get rashes, and it so happened to that I get a rash in the position where yeah. this open. Listen, let me let me just be very clear. You have substance use and alcohol issues, as evidenced during your time on probation. Mm. You have been given ample opportunity to change your personal care products. Talk to your doctor, whatever it may be, regarding whatever products that you have that contain alcohol. Do not use them. Understood. Do not use them. You've been told multiple times not to use them. 
Understood. We'll see you back on Wednesday. Next Wednesday, 11 a.m. In okay. person. You are in you are in person. No problem. You said December 20th.